my kitchen again. And uh, today we're gonna try and bake some donuts. I have this donut pan that, oh, there's a recipe on the back of it. And I don't have buttermilk. Nope. I got this pan when we still had a Target in Canada, but have never used it. So this recipe I got from the Food Network, but I'm going to modify it a tiny bit. So I'm hoping it's still gonna work. Most recipes you get from the Food Network, you kind of assume they're gonna work. But because I don't have all the ingredients, I have all the ingredients, just not in the forms they require, uh, we're gonna try something different. In the first bowl, you need to mix all your dry ingredients. You need two cups of all-purpose flour, Should I put my mic on? I read a thing about how flour reacts to oxygen. I'm not enjoying it. One and a half cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. That's what it's called for. That's what I'll put in. But this recipe makes 12 donuts. My pan is only six, so I have to make six at a time. What did I have to preheat my oven to? You have to preheat your oven to 350. Okay, back to the dry ingredients. Two te te teaspoons, two teaspoons of baking powder. Then you need a teaspoon of ground sugar. Cinnamon, cinnamon. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon, not sugar. We already put a lot of sugar in. And then half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm borrowing some of my roommate's nutmeg. I don't think she'll mind because she will be eating some of these. I thought I had nutmeg, but apparently I don't. So I just borrowed some of hers. Half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm using normal salt because that's what I have. Yep, and then you mix it. Next, you mix all the wet ingredients in another bowl. So I need an egg. So you need, don't put the eggs in. You need one egg. It says large. Oh, these are large eggs, perfect. My friend Dan suggested breaking them on the table. So let's try it. I don't know, that's fairly easy. Oh, it says in the actual recipe to do the egg and milk last. Or is that another recipe? I don't know. This only tells me the ingredients. The directions are really clear over there. One and a half cups of whole milk. I'm gonna use my 1% lactose free milk that I have. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Focus. Hi. Face, face, face. Me, thank you. I have spreadable butter. I don't actually know if this is enough. How much do I need? Two tablespoons and two teaspoons of vanilla. And then you mix it. Probably shouldn't whisk it because it scrambles the egg. Right? Is that what I want? Do I want to scramble the egg? I have a feeling this isn't gonna turn out. For one thing, my butter is not mixing. Why am I making donuts? I should have just made banana bread. <laughs> when you assume you've mixed it enough, you um, mix your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, so that's mixed. My oven is now preheated, so I'm just gonna take some uh, butter and do this. You scoop your donut mixture into the pan. How long does it go in the oven for? I don't know. Let me check my computer. Then you put it in the oven for 17 minutes, which is a weird amount of time, but we'll do it. And then you try them. Yep. This is gonna work out. So the first batch is, is done. My alarm uh, hasn't gone off yet, but I know that they're done. And I've already looked at them. Oh, there it is. So I made a mistake in filling the pan. They look like mini cakes, not donuts. They look like this. I'm gonna take these ones out and then I'm gonna use a smaller spoon to fill just around the side 
of the donut pan and put that back in the oven and see what happens. Do I need to like rebutter it down? So the second batch is done and I'm just gonna, they look much more like donuts. They look like this. You're supposed to make 12, but this is this is clearly making more than 12. That's the last of the butter that I have. So I have been eating this, this one that was like half a donut, half a cake. You're supposed to dip them in butter and then in cinnamon. I don't have any butter left, so I can't do that. This is what happens when you look for a recipe 20 minutes before you film it. You don't always have enough. They're gluten-free, lactose-free. I wouldn't consider them dairy-free. I use lactose-free dairy milk. I can just imagine if this was like covered in frosting or something. Do we have frost? The frosting that we do have has the best before date of a year ago, so I'm not gonna try it. But I feel like this recipe did turn out. There's like some icing on top and some sprinkles or something. Mm. Some chocolate. I have to go to the store and get some. This donuts are pretty good, so it's from the Food Network. I will put a link to the recipe below so you can go find it and try them yourself. Okay, I got the muffin tin from Target, but you can probably get one from Target, Walmart, I don't know. Kitchen Stuff Plus. Is that what it's called? Try them and let me know what you think. Uh, remember to not overfill your donut pan or you end up with half cakes. Although, they're not bad. They, they taste like cake. They taste like mini little cakes that I'm gonna put icing on and take to work. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to watch me do more baking videos, put that in the comments below. If you have a recipe, let me know. I don't know, if you enjoy donuts, give this a thumbs up. <laughs>